Hello everybody, this is Kimchi Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about Russia to ban crypto. Let me explain. Firstly, another US bank, Republic First Bank, was closed by Pennsylvania regulators on April 26th. Uh, relatively speaking, this was a bit smaller bank compared to Silicon Valley Bank which collapsed at the end of 2022. The assets of total assets of Silicon Valley Bank was $209 billion, whereas this Republic First Bank total asset was just $6 billion. But this is the first US bank failed this year, caused by the Federal Reserve's high interest rate. Without Fed's rate cut this year, these types of bank failures will continue. Russia news. Russia to enforce crypto restrictions, exempting crypto miners and central bank projects on April 29th. Russia imposes strict crypto restrictions effectively from September 1st this year, exempts miners. This aims to strengthen digital rubble, control crypto amidst geopolitical tensions. Still, there is a debate going on whether to pro crypto or ban crypto. The finance minister of Russia advocates regulated use of crypto. Central bank wants to restrict crypto users in order to boost digital rubble, whereas Finance Minister advocates crypto. What does this mean? Is it good news or bad news? I think this is not bad news at all because the bill will cover exceptions for crypto miners and central bank sponsored test, aka CBDC test, within an experimental legal framework. This is because crypto mining significantly boosts Russia's tax revenues. Approximately, crypto miners produce over $2.59 billion in liquidity for foreign trade settlements. Uh -huh. I think this is a um, temporary restric restriction to boost digital rubble by the central bank of Russia. They know crypto will bring huge tax revenue to their country, Russia. So I think they will accept both crypto for tax revenue and digital rubble in the end. Um, the Anton Golkin, a member of the State Duma in the Russia, he clarified that Russia does not intend to ban crypto outright. Uh, he mentioned, of course, the circulation of cryptocurrencies would not be banned. The creation of exchanges outside the zone of the experimental legal regime will fall under the ban. What does this mean? This is not crypto ban, but resist, resist, restrictions, sorry, restrictions on exchanges or crypto platforms. Crypto itself won't be affected directly by this type of thing. And Russia Ukraine war still goes on, and the Israel Palestine war was added. This type of geopolitical tension continues. The, the thing is, these wars affect energy price and the whole macro economy of the world. For CPI print numbers to stay higher and longer because of energy price type of these tensions. And what Fed's rate cut delay means for US and the world. Because of some relatively high CPI prints last month, these days, Fed wants to keep interest rate higher for longer. And this will affect is still affecting Bitcoin, stocks, and other crypto price as well. And my question here is, what shall we do now, right here? 
especially as a crypto investor. If you haven't followed Wrecked Capital, please follow him in Twitter. He will provide you much knowledge and insight. He mentioned there that there are five phases of the Bitcoin halving. First, pre-halving period. Second, pre-halving rally. Third, pre-halving retrace. And then, Bitcoin halving took place on April 20th. And fourth, re-accumulation zone. And we are here at phase number four. And then, parabolic uptrend begins. And this is a crazy old season. This is called red zone as well. Reaccumulation is called red zone or danger zone because many investors get shaken out in this stage due to boredom, impatience, and disappointment with lack of major results in their Bitcoin investment in the um, immediate aftermath of the halving. They just want the Bitcoin price to skyrocket just right after Bitcoin halving, but it isn't. This happened after Bitcoin halving twice in the past. So is it going to be the same as last time in the past? Who knows? But I still think the history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. So let's dive in. What is red zone? You can check out the red zone in the um, left side and on the right side as well. Red zone means reaccumulation zone. And after this red zone, you will see a huge uptrend, crazy old season in the um, green zone. Like back in the uh, early 2021, you will see the similar thing maybe in the late part of this year or early next year. So after several boring weeks of reaccumulation zone, the parabolic uptrend begins. This means for the next few weeks, you have to buy as many blue chip altcoins, even Bitcoins as possible, lest you firmer buy when the market go goes crazy once again. Thank you for listening.